Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Heroes of the Storm action, and today we're going to have a look at the Lunar skins that have come with uh, the Maiv patch, because with the Maiv patch does begin the Lunar New Year celebrations that HOTS always does every year. So the Lunar skins that are new to this particular year's uh, celebrations are Lunar Genji, who looks like this. Looks really good, actually. Uh, let's have a look at what Tinsy has. Uh, Luna... Luna Genji... Oh, only one tint. Okay, fair enough. Uh, that was actually surprising. Wait, hold on. That can't be right. Right? No, that can't be right. Uh, Luna, let's see, where are you? Genji, Genji, there you are. Uh, oh no, it really is just one tint. Okay, so Luna Genji, one tint. Uh, Luna... Luna Cassia, multiple tints. So this is one of them. Uh, looks pretty good, Welcome, I guess. Warrior. I'm not a fan of Cassia, so whatever. Uh, Luna Chaosness, who is uh, an epic skin, so we'll have a look in, we'll have a deeper dive into his skin in a bit. Luna Sylph, who's also an epic skin, so we'll have a deeper dive into her skin in a bit. And Luna Zuljin, who is a rare skin, so no need to deep dive into him. I think there's only one tint of his skin, though. Uh, oh no, sorry, never mind. There's also Luna Asmodan, so he looks pretty dope, but again, a rare skin. And I th think that's it. Oops. Luna. Uh, yeah, that's that should be it. So it looks like we are seeing some of the skins with only one tint, which is surprising, I guess. Uh, but. No matter. The two skins we're going to have a look at a little bit deeper is, of course, the two skins that are represented within this uh, this new loading screen, which is the Kelthas and the uh, the Sylve skins. So the Kelthas skin I can I can already show off right now because there's actually no difference to the alts. Uh, Phoenix looks like a Phoenix. Pyroblast actually looks like a Pyroblast. So that's that's about it. Flame Strike looks like that. So you have a bit of a ribbon thing going on here. I'll actually have to go and uh, find something to attack with the Living Bomb. But while we're waiting, that's what your tornadoes look like. And it's the explosion of your Pyro, sorry, your Living Bomb that is changed as well. So, a bit of a fireworks effect going on right there. Uh, that's what we're working with. So, uh, because the alts actually aren't any different, I'll, I'll just show them off as well. Why not? So, here's your Phoenix, right? Looks exactly like a regular old Phoenix. And if we reset, Choose a talent. Choose a talent. here's your Pyroblast. It looks exactly the same. First and Verted Spears, uh, I guess, look like regular Verted Spears, well, or maybe slightly different because I guess the base model of the Verted Spears are different anyway. So that's what uh, Kelthus's Luna skin is looking at. Basically, QWE trait changes in terms of what they look like. And uh, yeah, the Sylph skin, on the other hand, is actually a lot better. So, Sylph. Farness, here you are. Du, 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 du. The dark Wait, lady watches. Okay, so the tints are this one, this one looks pretty good. This one, Stand uh, with me. I, I don't know. I've, I've. Oh, actually, you know what? I think this one is probably the best. Anyway, the Silv skin on the other hand, there's changes to all of her abilities. Q, W, E, everything is changed. So we'll just. Well, we don't need to. Actually, we're just gonna level ten. Not that it really matters. Choose the talent. Get rid of those, get rid of him, and I'll just use this on, where are you Valera? Valera, because I hate her guts, anyone who's ever played with me knows that I hate her guts, so, Q changes, the Q looks a little bit different, it's a bit subtle, uh, but it's there, red and yellow, uh, and also the icon for like who you can hit with your withering fire is uh, a little bit different. Her her dagger looks like that, so it's more red and yellow. And there's a, and there's that kind of um, Chinese New Year sort of thing that sort of falls off it. The banshees that come with what's it called again? Haunting Wave. They're basically banshees that look like they've been they're celebrating Chinese New Year. So if you Pause the video, you can have a better look at it, but that's what we're looking at here. Also, I think the teleport looks a little bit better 
Well, red and yellow, basically, but that might just be like a thing that happens with all of her skins. And Wailing Arrow looks like this, so it's all bright red and yellow, and also... Oh, okay, so hitting people with, uh, what is it, Black Arrow looks like that, so it's way more yellow, reddish like that, so that's kind of cool. And the other ultimate, if I see Valera... Choose a talent. Choose a talent. My control, here you are. So my control has probably the biggest change of the wall. So not only is it red and yellow, but it's also got a new icon. So that's really dope. Oh, piss off, Valera. Wow, I'm actually missing. Wow, I'm actually missing. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Let this not be like a display of my skill, but more just a display of the skins. So yeah. Oh, I can't, I can't teabag her. Rick. Anyway, so that's the changes to the Luna skins. Uh, the, like the new, the changes to the abilities for Luna Sylph and Luna Kale. Uh, I'm, I am, because the ultimates are not changed in any way, shape, or form. I am a little bit disappointed at the Luna Kale skin, but Done. this one. Well, I don't play much Kale anyway, so I guess I don't care. But this one. I think it's pretty dope. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, well, whatever. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!